guys, what would standard be without our $700 decks, right? So we have Bant Company, which was supposed to be the deck that was going to dominate Shadows over Innistrad. It was the deck most played at the Pro Tour, but it turned out it wasn't as good and only has one copy in the top eight. So Bank Company is $504 online and $717 on paper. Uh, it resembles O decks. Um, the decks with Jace trying to go with Coco and running. Uh, it runs two Avacyns as well. So it does tend to run the Mythics that are the most expensive in Magic the Gathering. So let's take a look. We have... Duskwatch Recruiter, which is a very good card in my opinion. We have four Jaces. Uh, that, those four Jaces will set you back $338. So that's a lot. Four Sylvan Advocates. Four Bounding Karastis. Two Nissas. Four Reflector Mage. So Reflector Mage was supposed to be a deck, a card that was going to dominate. Uh, Reflector Mage with Coco in particular is very brutal. But it only put up one copy in the top eight, so it's very diverse. Two tireless trackers and two archangel avacins. Your spells are four Dromokers commands, four collected company, and one Ujute's command. So you do run into the problems, especially if you're playing this in FNM, of how do I get my four Jaces? Or I guess even Coco is about 20 bucks a piece right now. I only imagine that it goes up in price coco also sees play in the green black aristocrats uh, anytime that you need creatures coco is a two for one instant speed can catch your opponent and off guard and it hits at least hits probably one creature i don't know if someone can do the math for this particular deck there's 26 creatures you go six deep you're going to hit one creature most of the time possibly two uh, i like the deck a lot uh, the jace I wish there was a simple replacement for the Jace. Other, and if you took the Jaces away, it would take reduce the cost of the deck almost by half. And then the deck would be about right. You know, it would be a, about the average cost of a deck if you didn't have the four Jaces. I love Dramoker's Command right now in the current meta. It seems it does everything you need it to do. Uh, the fight mechanic, the plus one, plus one mechanic, it's always been good. But I'm glad to see that it survived rotation. Free Canopy Vistas. Four Evolving Wilds. Now the Fetch Lands are gone. Evolving Wilds has replaced the Fetch Lands. So it's time to pick up Evolving Wilds, everybody. Four Forests. Two Islands. Three Lumbering Falls. In my opinion, the weakest of all man lands. Uh, three Plains. Four Prairie Streams. Two Yagamares Coast. Your sideboard is two Dispels, two Invasive Surgery, two Declarations in Stone, three Negates, two Shorak the Hunt Caller, a very interesting card uh, sideboard. I don't know what type of decks it comes in against. Three Tragic Arrogant from the sideboard and one Dragon Lord Dromoka. So the Dragon Lords, rotation actually did not hurt any of the, if, if anything, it's incredibly helpful for the uh, dragon set and it seems very good all the dragon lords are still being played all the commands are being played Narset is seeing play uh, everything looks pretty good for that set um, anyway oh it's called dragons of Tarkir obviously <laughs> I was like mind blanking on what the set was called I was like uh, there's dragons of it there's Tarkir anyway uh, it's a very expensive deck let me know in the comments below if it's too expensive. 